Okay, in this video we are going to import a Photoshop document. Um, we are using the Photoshop uh, documents that I created for the Ferdinand poster on the website. Um, so I've got a few here. I just started um, just an action script 3.0. We're not going to worry about the stage size just yet. We're going to go file, import, import to library. We're going to find the Photoshop file we want to use. We're going to open it. It gives us some options to download or to import these as layers. We're going to do that. We don't have to worry about any of this other stuff right here. We'll just leave it as the default. In our library tab, so this is our panel. We can see the full Photoshop document. So in this, I actually cut this out from a couple of uh, Ferdinand images off the internet. So we're going to make this Ferdinand and this girl appear as if they're moving and make the background move as well. So let's start with opening this folder. We can see in our preview window here in the library, we can see each of these. So for our first background, we'll pull this in. So this background image is quite quite a bit larger than the one that we're using. So let's just click on the drop down, show all. Um, when we use our free transform tool, our bounding boxes, we want to keep the proportions the same. We're going to hold down shift and go back to our selection tool. So we're going to go back to 100% and we're not going to worry about the background just yet. We are going to call it name the layer. So here we're going to add a new layer. And this is where we're going to add Ferdinand and the girl. Drag that out. So this is, again, quite a bit larger. And then we are going to resize this. Our stage is just the default setting. So we might want to have this stage a little bit larger. So I'm going to change the properties of the stage of the stage to 800 and I'm fine with it being 400 in uh, height. So move this background over a little bit. I can use arrows on my keyboard. Um, and I like the way that this is actually set up here in this rule of thirds. So the tree is here, Ferdinand and the girl. I'm going to hide the background temporarily. I'm going to make these layers. Let's go with ninety-six frames. Press F5 to extend our animation. Um, it just auto saved, so that's telling me we should look at saving this. So we'll just save this as so even though I've hidden this layer we can still see it once we preview it. And this looks good. All right, the next step, we are going to make Ferdinand and the girl a movie clip. In our library, we can see it. So for motion tweens, we have options for our creating a classic tween or creating a motion tween. With the motion tween, I'm going to show you one of the benefits of that. Let's create a motion tween. Again, I should name my layer. Just something descriptive. So my layer here, I'm going to have on the very first keyframe, they're actually going to pop up. So less than a second, they will rise.
guys up here. I don't want him to be right at the top of the... Um, I'll move it a little bit higher. So I'm working maybe a little bit too far out here. I should zoom in. Okay, so they're going to pop up. And then every few frames, I want them to move up and down. I'm not going to do it exact. So I want it to appear as if they're kind of galloping through this meadow. So as you can see, each time I move the playhead and then move the image, the benefit of this motion tween is it will add the keyframes for me. If I was using the classic tween, I would have to put in keyframes multiple times as well as putting in um, right click and, and selecting classic tween. So, I think this is going to look okay, but we are going to check it. So we're always checking our animations. They may be moving too fast. I think it looks okay. It repeats, and that's fine for right now. Um, background, we can move as well. So let's make this animation look a little bit better. I'm just going to pause it here for a second. Okay, so I'm going to center the stage again. I'm going to make my Ferdinand layer locked. I'm going to unhide the background. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I want it to appear as if the background is moving off into the distance. So I'm actually going to start with my background a little bit, um, a little bit larger. Now this maybe a few tries for trial and error to see how it looks, but um, let's start with this. So I want to create this as a movie clip. Drag my playhead to the beginning. Right click motion tween. And by the end of this, I want the characters to appear as if they're running or galloping away off into the distance. Now, I'll move it so it's still um, completely covered by the stage. And then we'll just test it, see what it looks like. If it's moving too fast or too slow, we can always adjust it from there. Okay, so I don't mind this. Um, if we wanted to adjust it, we could. see a little bit more doesn't have to be perfectly centered here I just want to make sure that it's completely covering the stage maybe I want it to move up as well test it again looks good. I know I keep saying I want to try and keep these videos short. Um, it's just, it does take a little bit of time to set everything up the way that we are doing in class. So let's move on to the next.